Question 24. A student believes that the time it takes for an ice cube to melt, m minutes, varies inversely with the room temperature, t degrees Celsius. The student observes that at a room temperature of 15 degrees Celsius, it takes 12 minutes for an ice cube to melt. Part A. Find the equation relating m and t. The equation relating m and t will be in the form m equals k divided by t or k over t, where k is the constant of proportionality. To find the value of k, we need to substitute a known value for m and t. Now we know that m equals 12 when t equals 15, and substituting these two values into the equation and rearranging the equation, we can solve for k. So 12 is equal to k divided by 15. Multiplying both sides of the equation by 15, we get 12 times 15 equals k, hence k is equal to 180. Therefore, the equation is m equals 180 divided by t. Part B. By first completing this table of values, graph the relationship between the temperature and time from t equals 5 degrees Celsius to t equals 30 degrees Celsius. Complete the table of values by substituting the values for t in the top row into the equation m equals 180 divided by t to find the corresponding values for m in the bottom row. When t is equal to 5, m is equal to 180 divided by 5, which equals 36. When t equals 15, m is equal to 180 divided by 15, which equals 12. And when t equals 30, m is equal to 180 divided by 30, which equals 6. These three columns form coordinate pairs, which can be plotted on the graph below. This point here has coordinates 5, 36. This point has coordinates 15, 12. And this point has coordinates 30, 6. The final step is to draw a smooth curve through these three points in the shape of a hyperbola.